So coming back to the Melza directions, guys, and I know it 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 maybe sound like I'm going too deep in this, answering your comments and your questions and just reflecting on those, but it's actually something that's necessary. And don't worry, I hear you, some of you, when you reach out to me through the comment section or through email like Wim, don't waste your time too much, you should play music. I am playing music, we are playing music here, Alberto and I, like crazy. And by the time you watch this, not so sure when I will release this video, we will have released Beethoven's Fifth Symphony, but also the plan of uh, releasing the entire recording sessions of the well-tempered keyboard that I'm recording right now. I'm in the middle as we speak. So F-sharp major has just been recorded. And so reflecting on how to share that with you, I decided to, uh, you know, just release the, um, the recording sessions entirely in what we would call YouTube's membership site. So whenever you go, when you go uh, and next to the subscription button, you will have by now, or I would say, um, by the time this video is uh, uploaded, the uh, join button. And when you go there, you will get two uh, recording sessions a week um, entirely for you to enjoy um, in awaitance of the recording release of the well tempered keyboard. It's fairly unique. I said it also in that video where I announced that it's not so common, I think, that musicians just give the entire recording sessions make them public if they have the possibility but other than that so no worries about that i'm playing a lot of music these days and doing some crazy stuff at the same time like releasing beethoven's fifth symphony through kickstarter it's unbelievable actually it, pretty exciting by the time this video goes probably maybe not but the kickstarter release is there very soon check it out um one of the great things of interacting with you is, of course, I know not all of you are reflecting on these texts day in, day out. Some just make instant reflections and not all of the comments just make much sense in the sense of the broader context, because you have to always contextualize these texts. But it doesn't matter. I have to be able to answer those questions. And sometimes also, like when a text is not clear, give interpretations, but from a certain uh, perspective, we went over that. But one of the other great things is that you get to interact with people, even patients patrons that um, just join the conversation and think with me or with us here, this community. And so Ken Nico left a, a great, what turned out to be a great idea, but I didn't get the full scope of it when he um, just, um, you know, wrote the comment or the idea and I'm having this metronome because I'm going to in my hand because I'm going to demonstrate I should not uh, use it actually as a kind of you know to, to not destroy this uh, because otherwise it would be broken and that would be quite ironic right right if if I hear at authentic sound would have a broken metronome <laughs> I love the idea actually I mean after all we we shouldn't forget to laugh once in a while right certainly with ourselves that's so important. Don't never take yourself too seriously. Anyways, I'm digressing. Um, so here's the Melzer directions again, are the Melzer directions again. And it's this sentence right leading up to that famous last sentence. So particularly, this is this sentence we're talking about. Each beat falls in with the degree of quickness desired for one minimum or two crotchets. So just to summarize and to give you this context, this is a paragraph where the author, again, we don't know for sure it's Melzel, probably not, but it doesn't matter really. This being premised, which means everything that was before, if we take this into account, we come to a situation where, for instance, in 4-4 four -four time, a composer wants to mark a piece with allegro and and then he tries and he's he's searched for 80 and my eyes are not allowing me to search for 80 without with my glasses so like this getting old um so and then you have the rod three and there you have 80 and then one of two bars of the movement be played to a certain weather at that number each beat falls in with the degree of quickness desired for one minimum or two crotchets. Now, 
I was thinking when I was reading this text, and maybe you too, well, this is a text that is clearly aimed at composers. One minimum or two crotchets. Those composers will know that, right? That one minimum, half note, equals two quarter notes. It's not so hard. So uh, when I read that text, and Lorenz as well, uh, I talked with him about this. Yeah, this seems to be like... I do say that like it's not necessary it's redundant you can leave the, if, if you would be a copywriter today you would say like listen yeah what do you want one minimum I mean why do you want to clarify two crotchets that two crotchets actually equal one minimum because you can leave it out make a text shorter but Ken said to me and I had uh, um, uh, we exchanged some 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 messages on whatsapp because I asked him what is your idea actually and it basically and we came to a to a really clear understanding in fact this is the whole definition of whole beat why would you say how can it be that a metronome each beat falls in with the degree of quickness desired for one minimum or two crotchets well two crotchets of course together is one minimum but it's the entire idea the two crotchets define the minimum by the ticks so each beat falls in with the degree of quickness desired for one minimum or two crotchets so what's the what's the desired speed for one minimum here in single beat you would say each tick falls in like minimum 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 but where are the crotchets the beat is not giving the time the beat is giving the time for two crotchets combined but again see this and i have to you have to stay with me here in the interpretation there is no reason for the crotches to be meant here because they have no part in the game in single beat it's only the minims and then you have to assume that the author of this text clarifies the minim to be two crotchets but again for a composer that should be very clear and so that would be the single beat explanation then it's redundant i mean just cross it out i mean why do you give one minimum two crotchets and then each tick because that would be the definition of beat here um, equals one minimum so the crotchets the crotches are not, not why would you subdivide the minimum if each tick is the minimum where are the crotchets here the crotches are totally totally missing there is nothing there of crotchets it's no subdivision you cannot say like one and one and one and one it's a crotchet crotchet i mean no or no that would be the line saying crotchet crotchet no crotchet 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 i mean it makes no sense it, it unless it, again you say like yeah it, it clarifies a I minimum mean, to exist i mean okay but from a whole beat perspective it makes a lot of sense because there you have one minimum and minimum and minimum and minimum and then you have let, let, let's show you on, on big screen and minimum and minimum crotch it crotch it crotch it crotch it crotch so each stick uh, falls in with the degree of quickness desired for one minimum yes or two crotchets also yes so you could say even in the whole beat case he sh the author shouldn't clarify the one minimum with the two crotchets because it's obvious but it's less uh, the obviousness here is of an other nature than in the single beat uh, perspective from the single beat perspective you would have to assume that the author actually gave the definition of a minimum existing out of two crotchets just as a theoretical backup which is completely ununderstandable because he's talking to composers they know that but from a whole beat perspective if you see and then read the last sentence again each single beat or tick forms a part of the intended time and the intended time we went over this a zillion times times it's translated translated in german in zeitmaß and intended time here in terms of what else can it be each tick each beat each beat falls in the degree of quickness desired for one minimum the minimum is the note value in the metronome mark and each stick is part of that 
n is equal with the two crotchets. So in other words, from a whole beat perspective, I know it's hard to explain, but stay with me here. Each beat, each full beat, then falls in the, in the degree of quickness desired for one minimum. And each tick falls in the degree with each crotchet. He's not saying that because each beat, full beat here, is also defining the two crotchets together but they are subdivided each single beat or tick forms a part of that one crotchet so this sentence if you consider this text to be written from a whole beat perspective is just a logical practical explanation of what actually is happening when you consider that metronomic to be whole beat each beat falls in with a degree of quickness, one minimum, that's the metronome mark, the two crotchets is a subdivision. But beat is here used as full beat. And again, guys, I've seen some comments like, yeah, but beat here is clearly described a single beat. No, 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 no. You can say that you can you you can say that to yourself until the end of your days but it doesn't change the facts beat oscillation battement schlag is used in both ways and it's the context of the text is used in similar text in, and the context of the text that makes it clear but this is an important addition this is really something that makes this text even much more lean to whole beat and i know some of you will not agree but it's not about agreeing or not eh? this is just a fact from a whole beat perspective the sentence this additional explanation makes sense it shouldn't be there it's not necessary but you know that the ticks indicate the quarter notes and you know that the metronome indi defines the half notes so from that perspective each beat falls into the in falls in with the degree of quickness desired for one minimum yes or two crotchets yes that's what whole beat is in single beat each beat single tick falls in degree with quickness desired for one minimum or two crotches yeah two crotches together why would you subdivide the minimum so you see um i'm pretty sure the common box will uh, of our little community that we have here gathered around this melzo directions and i'm happy about that huh? i mean uh, the videos get like a few hundreds of views four five hundred six hundred views it's maybe not the most of the channel uh, but it doesn't matter you have the chance here as a community now to come over and say like this is what i don't understand or this is what i would like you to be to clarify but this this line it's a, it's a pretty strong whole beat uh, whole beat line so think about it don't jump right away in the comment box just think about it and also guys if you if you comment on this i'll take your comments seriously you know that by now so that's what it is but define it also from the perspective of whole beat. Show me that you're doing research. If you're just having one side of the story um, and the other side, and one side of the story of single beat is given all the credits and every mistake or uh, confusion or th something that doesn't make sense is okay. If whole beat has one issue, then whole beat is done as a solution and we go to single beat where you don't test single beat. You have to prove me that you can do that. You have to prove me that you can go through this line here in this case from both sides. And then you will see that what makes the most sense. And it's it's adding on top of each other. Of, 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 of each other eh? uh, someone said to me recently, when whenever you have something that's not science, but based upon interpretation, the interpretation with the less assumptions wins as the most logical most plausible explanation and uh, uh, clarification and this is in this text i mean come on it's 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 pretty 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 obvious and certainly now so thank you ken for suggesting this um this is i think a great addition uh, additional layer in what we already had each beat falls in with a degree of quickness desired for one minimum or two crotchets so this is similar beat every beat defines both and two crotchets 
equal one minimum. I know that, and composers know that too. But each beat needs to fall in with the degree of quickness desired for one minimum or two. Why would you say that if not the quartets are indicated by a subdivision of that beat, which is full beat there? reason why at the end of the paragraph you want as an author to clarify each single beat yeah i mean now tick single beat single with capitals because normally beat is from the context whole beat here we used it like that and now we want single beat and to be clear clear like or tick it's actually pretty 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 amazing how we come from a very uh, from an understanding like this is maybe an inconsistent text but it's getting more and more consistent so it's absolutely worth our time okay guys that's that's just what i wanted to share thank you for the metronome no just kidding no actually thank you for the metronome. imagine we wouldn't have this go ahead and figure out the tempi of beethoven's uh, symphonies even george smart eh? one of the greatest conductors of the 19th, 19th century couldn't figure it out had to travel to vienna and i wonder if he really understood what beethoven was saying when he went back i don't know we'll make video on smart so that was it for today Melzo directions thumbs up and if you find this for this video give it a thumbs up as well subscribe if you haven't done so check out our patreon community or join the members here at this community and i hope suppose assume this one i can assume that that membership already has been active of activated okay guys thanks for watching see you soon again bye